In this video we're going to have a look at an application called Horus. It's a standalone RSS or feed reader. For those that don't know, RSS or feeds are a way of consuming content from websites such as news headlines. You can see here I've got various feeds listed, the Ovi Daily app, all about Symbian and more. You can scroll up and down to see the rest of them and you can scroll to see more items in any given feed by going from left to right. You open up an item simply by tapping on the icon on the headline. We can see here it's one from the All About Symbian feed. As you'll note, this application is actually advertising supported, so it's freely available from the Nokia Ovi store. And we'll look at another example of a feed. There we go, let's choose one of these. You can see in this case it's a full feed, so there's more text, there's screenshots loaded in the background as well. If we want to open this up in the web browser, Horus has a rather unusual feature. If we tap the web icon on the top there, you'll notice it's actually loading this website in Opera Mobile. That's because Horus actually pays attention to what you set as the default browser in the Symbian settings. It's great to see this because it's relatively unusual and I think Opera Mobile actually provides a better browsing experience than the built-in browser. It's really nice to see this level of thought and integration being put into an application. If we switch back to Horus, we can have a look at another of the unique features. You'll notice here that we've got a video background and an audio background. This is because these are feeds with enclosures, multimedia enclosures, video and audio in the case of this All About Symbian feed. You'll note here at the top we've got a button that's a playback button. If we tap on that, we'll actually open up the standard web browser and then kick off the download of that particular multimedia item. We can see here it's a 30 megabyte mp3 file. If we go OK to that, thanks to the streaming properties built into uh, Symbian, we'll actually get that pop-up almost immediately. There you go, there's the All About Symbian podcast. Let's just pop back to uh, Horus again. And just look at some of the other features of this application. You'll notice here there's a refresh button, that's if you want to refresh the feeds while you're using the applications. The settings here controls in which order the feeds are organised in as well as their colour and name, and of course you can delete them as well. If you want to add a feed, you simply hit the plus button here. You can enter either a direct URL or a search term. Let's try BBC for example. There we go, we can see the BBC News feed has come up there. If we want to add it, we simply hit the plus button. If we go back to the Horus page here, we can see that the BBC News feed has been added at the bottom and is automatically updated. And there we go, there's the story. We can go to the web if we wanted to. So there we go, there's a quick look through the Horus RSS feed reader application. I think this is the best standalone RSS application I've seen on the Symbian devices. It's available for free from the Nokia Ovi store, and the performance of this, as you've seen in this video, is pretty good. It's written in Qt and QML, I think a very impressive application, and given it's free, I'd recommend this to anyone who thinks about using RSS on their phone.